Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, this one skill, <laughs> one skill gets 99.9% .9 of men's respect. This one skill. All right, really quickly, if the content here resonates with you and afterwards you're interested in speaking to me, check out the link to schedule a free discovery call to see if working with a coach is right for you. All right, we're going to talk about this one skill that gets men's respect. Okay. Um, you know, it's interesting. There's a, a therapist out there that says something along the lines of the following. When a man cherishes a woman, he respects her. And when a woman respects a man, he's cherished. Okay. And okay, I get it. I understand the analogy there. But to me, a man could demonstrate cherishing a woman, but not actually respect her. So let's lean into respect a little bit because this is so important in relationships today. And I know many of you women are absolutely frustrated with men because they don't treat you with respect. And I think part of the issue here is that they're so myopic in their own shit that they're only focused on themselves. And I can, I can, from your perspective, understand how absolutely frustrating that is. And I create a little diagram to help you understand men. And this is very simple. And I've shared something similar before in one of my videos, Understanding Midlife Crisis. But I'm just going to see if you can see this. It's a it's a it's basically a pie chart with 10% here, 10% here, 40% here, 40% here. Okay, you got this, right? I'm I'm gonna put this down. So I just want to start with the the 10% on this side, and that represents the first 10%. These are men with absolute clinical issues. They have I mean, they're narcissists, they're sociopaths, they have real clinical mental health issues. And then as that pie chart starts to go in this direct, or I guess it would be this direction, is they start, they've got issues, but then there's less issues, less issues, less issues, less issues, less issues. But even this category, 50% of men are struggling with a lot of issues. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Because these men can't respect anyone. So the skill I'm speaking of in a few minutes isn't going to even matter to those men. Because they're clinic, I mean, well, there's the clinical men issue. And then they're just men that are just stuck in their woundedness, their wounded trauma, their childhood traumas, their uh, childhood wounds, and their adult trauma and wounds. Okay. But as men begin to evolve and as men begin to do personal development work, just like women do, and we're talking about introspective work, they start coming out of that into this 40% category and then ultimately this 10%. This 10% of men clearly know who they are. They know what they want. And these men genuinely start off respecting women right from the get-go. They start with a level of respect. So we're going to talk about this other 40% because this is where most likely you're in this dating category. Although sadly, many of you are dating this men in this 50% here, which really sucks. Okay. I'm going to make it really simple. Okay, this one skill is, I could say it's respecting yourself. Okay, I could say that's what it is. It's respecting yourself. And I know many, it's interesting. I've observed that there's three kinds of women. There's the woman, there's the entitled type of woman. This woman just thinks her shit doesn't stink and she's just entitled for the best. And then there's the wounded woman, the doormat woman that basically gets walked on by men all the time. And then there's that category of woman who is, that, you know, in that book, uh, Why Men Love Bitches, it's a, a babe in total control of herself. She's in control of her sovereignty. She respects herself. Okay. That woman who genuinely respects herself is either learning or leaning into this one skill I'm about to share. Now, this woman that respects herself loves herself. And she's probably, if she hasn't ordered my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway, she's literally adopted all or many of the principles that are in my book. And if you haven't checked out my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway, there's a link in the description below. Um, but the woman who respects herself and wants respect from men, this one skill 
is she just embodies this one skill and that is her standards, her standards. And standards are very similar to boundaries. And I like the way um, Brene Brown talks about boundaries. It's what's okay and what's not okay for me. But a, a woman who really respects herself in the relationship realm, she knows her standards. She clearly knows what she wants in a relationship. And she studied relationships enough to know the dynamics and the mechanics of the relationship. And if you haven't read the book, Eight Dates, oh my gosh. And I talk about this in almost every video. This teaches you the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship. So you can begin to establish your standards of what a relationship looks like. Now, I want to turn you on to another book, because if you are dating, if you are in a relationship, if you are frustrated out there, then you have to check out Barbara DeAngelis' book, Are You the Right One for Me? Are You the Right One for Me? The woman who adopts the skills taught in this book and this book, here, I'm going to do two books now. I don't do that typically. These are women that have adopted the skill of standards. They know their standards. They know what's okay and what's not okay for them. And this, this literally, for that 10% of men, that's going to gain their respect. Well, these men already gain their, you, you've got their respect right from the get-go. But when you're dealing with this other 40% of men, they're going to lean into respecting you because you've adopted a standard. And you said, this is my floor. I'm not going below this. Now, or this is my ceiling maybe. I don't know how we want to look at it. But if this is where you're, this is your watermark. And if a guy falls below the watermark, you're saying, done, out of here, fuck you. I'm done with you. Oh, please forgive the F word. That wasn't really kind there. All right, I think you get the gist of where I'm going. And I know this makes sense to you. Does it, does it make sense to you? Does this resonate with you? Have you established standards in your relationship? If you haven't or have, please post a comment below. If you need support and help with this, write a, a, a question. I read all the questions, uh, or I do my best to read most of them and comment as well. Okay, if you want to establish respect with a man, then establish the skill of a standard, your standard. And when you know your standard, you're not going to accept anything less than your watermark in relationship. Okay, I hope you found value in this video. I'm going to sign off this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or even a dog or a pet and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.